Hi there, welcome to Christmas at the Schwoben's Nest. My name is Sandra and I'm so glad you're here. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you could hit that red button. My first project today is a really fun pillow. I've got some linen drop cloth here and I'm just using this wood round as a template so I can cut a circle. I'm just leaving about an inch and a half space all the way around. This video today is sponsored by HTV Rot. They sent me an um, automatic heat press and I'm going to show you more on that in just a few minutes. For this project, I will be going into Cricut Design Space and I've typed in the name Rudolph. To do the offset, you simply just click on the offset button and a blue line shows up around your lettering. That's basically an outline and that's what the offset means. You can change the offset to larger or smaller by clicking and dragging the bar. Once you've decided on how thick you want your offset to be, just click on apply. Then you're going to see a black outline. It automatically defaults to black. So I'm going to go up to my operation and click on the red color block. Then I'm going to click on the Rudolph letters and choose the black color block. Now remember, these are still two separate pieces of vinyl, so one will be cut out on red and one will be cut out on black. But you can see here on the red that it's not as detailed, and that's okay, that's how it's supposed to be. So I've got all of my letters cut out on my vinyl. I'm using HTV Rant vinyl, and this is heat transfer vinyl. So you have to make sure when you're doing your lettering that you mirror your images or your lettering, meaning you want them to look backwards on your design because they need to be cut out backwards. You're going to be flipping that right side up when you lay it down onto your fabric. Heat transfer vinyl has a sticky backing, so once you've got it all weeded, you can lay it down on your material and it will stick a little bit so it doesn't move around so much. Once I've got this all figured out, I'm going to take it to my HTV Rant heat press. This is the HTV Rant Auto Heat Press. It's really big, but it's absolutely amazing. It has a 15 inch by 15 inch workspace, which means that's the area that you have to press with. And because it's automatic, it does all of the pressing for you. You don't have to push down on it and you get a beautiful, even design. So here I've got my pillow out on my ironing board and I've already set the temperature for the heat transfer vinyl using the guide that you can find online. I'm just making sure that everything is set to go and then I press the start button and it does its work. The HTV Rond Auto Heat Press has buttons very similar to a manual machine. You've got your temperature button and you've also got a clock button, which is your timer. You use the plus and the minus buttons to change the numbers higher or lower, and then you're set to go. Once you are ready to press, you just simply hit the flashing red R button. That is the button that will start the machine and your project will be done in a few seconds. HTV Rant is having some pre-Black Friday sales. On their website from November 11th to 24th, you can get up to 30% off. And then from November 25th to the 30th, up to 50% off. If you like shopping on Amazon, you can shop their Black Friday sale from November 24th to the 28th. I'll have all the links and the information down in my description box, so make sure you go check it out if you're in the market for some new HTV products and some heat press products. The time is complete, so I've pulled out the ironing board and I did let it sit for a couple of minutes to make sure that it would be nice and cool to the touch. You don't want to burn your fingers because it comes out really hot. So very gently you're going to be pulling off the plastic and then we're going to be working on the next step of this design. 
what I've applied here is the offset letters. So now it's time to get my black letters on top of the offset. So all you're going to do is take the next layer of the HTV vinyl and just place it on top of the words and get it as close to even as possible. It was really not difficult to do and I had so much fun with this project. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more in the future too. Once all of those letters are on and I've got everything set to go, I also added some little white snowflakes. Then I just put it through my heat press one more time and then pull off the plastic again. And now my two layers of vinyl have stuck together and they're stuck on my pillow fabric. I'm so excited for this project. It turns out super cute. Here's what it looks like so far. I want this pillow to have an ornament look to it. So I grabbed a piece of red and black buffalo check. I folded it in half and then folded it in half again. And now I'm going to be just cutting out what the top of an ornament looks like. So you know that little hanger thingy? So it has sort of like a small piece on the top and then it has a rounded piece that gets attached to the bulb. If you're a sewer, you can definitely take this to your machine and sew it up. I do have a sewing machine, but I wanted to show you how you could do it just with hot glue. I'm turning all of the pieces right sides together because I'm going to be gluing it and then turning it inside out. So I've got just one piece here and I'm going to first make a little bit of a hem with the hot glue because when I put the red and black buffalo check on top, I don't want there to be a raw edge. So I'm just going to be turning this in ever so slightly, not too much. Um, be careful when you're working with hot glue in fabric that you don't burn your fingers. I do have my little silicone spatula there from the Dollar Tree, but I have my hot glue set to low, so it really wasn't too, too hot. I was able to manage it just with my fingers. Now I'm going to be placing another bead of hot glue just a little bit below that glued hem and this is where I'm going to be gluing on my little ornament hanger, the red and black buffalo check. So I'm just going to flip it over and place it down and then hot glue it into place just like this. This is the inside of the pillow so when I flip it over to look at the outside of the pillow or the right sides, this is what it will look like nice and clean hem. I'll do the same thing to the little ornament hanger and the pillow for the other side. The reindeer design that I created will be available for you as a free printable on my website. The link to that is down in my description box. Now I'm going to start at the very edge of each of the little ornament hangers. You don't want to glue that together because I want to be able to stuff the ornament hanger portion as well. I'm just using a very fine bead of glue and I'm going really close to the edge, but you do want to make sure that you don't miss any little areas because then you'll have a little pocket. What I'm doing here is just double checking that I haven't glued down any of the ornament portion. Once I got down to the bottom, I made sure to leave about eight inches open because that'll give me the ability to put the stuffing in. I let the glue sit for about 10 minutes to make sure that it was fully dry and now I'm going to be turning it right side out. I'm taking my time when I do this because I don't want to accidentally pull open any of the seams. If you do happen to open any of the seams, it's okay. You can definitely just hot glue it again once it's right side out. For the ornament portion, I wanted to make sure I was extra careful. So I've just got my hand on the inside kind of pushing very gently. And now I'm just going to use both hands and just kind of pick it out, not using any sharp objects. You could probably use something like the silicone applicator from the Dollar Tree. But again, don't push too hard because then you'll go through. 
I have an old pillow here with some old pillow stuffing. I'm going to try and pull some of it apart so it's not quite so lumpy and bumpy, but it turns out pretty good in the end. So I'm going to start by just pushing as much of the foam as I can into the top part, making sure I get to that little area way at the top too. Again, being very careful and going slow, taking my time, making sure I don't split any of the seams. Then I just went ahead and continued stuffing and flattening everything out and making it feel nice and soft and smooth while I was working with it. Before I glued the pieces together at the bottom to close it up, I made another little hem just using some hot glue. This is the same technique that I did before I put the red and black buffalo plaid on, and that's just going to make a nice clean edge when I get to gluing the rest of it together. Just add some hot glue about an eighth of an inch inside and then fold over the edge. Now that I have those little seams in place, I'm just going to add some hot glue and glue the pillow closed. This seam does look a little bit different than the original seams on the side, but since a pillow always sits on its bottom end, you won't really even notice that once it's placed. I'm really pleased with how this pillow turned out, and I think it's going to be on my couch for the holiday season for many years to come. For this next project, I'm doing another pillow. This is a pre-made pillow cover. My mom actually put these together for me. It's using a white polyester napkin on the front and some black and white buffalo check on the back. So what I'm going to do is a combination here of sublimation and heat transfer vinyl. I always like to press the fabric first, first of all, to get any wrinkles out and secondly, just to get it warmed up. I have set the temperature to 395 degrees Fahrenheit and for 60 seconds, although I'm not going to press it for that length of time. I only need about 10 or 15 seconds to get it nice and smooth. Now that I've pressed my fabric, I'm going to line it just with some parchment paper that will protect the back side of it and it will also protect my work surface. I've printed off two halves of a Christmas wreath and now I'm just going to be cutting them and making them fit together really well onto the pillow. I had to do this because I only have an eight and a half by 11 inch sublimation printer, but that's okay. I am used to piecing things together and it's really not that difficult. So once I've got this all cut, then I'm going to use some heat resistant Teflon tape to put these two together and tape them right onto my pillow. Once I have the two sheets taped together the way they need to be, I'll be able to flip it over and tape it down onto the pillow. I'm just an eyeball crafter, which means I don't measure things, but if you have to measure, go ahead and do so. I'm just gonna be placing it into what I think is the center of the front of the pillow and then using the Teflon tape, tape it in place. So I'm back at my heat press and I can go ahead and get it all ready on the ironing board, push it in. And then once I'm ready, I can press the green flashing button and that will start the system going. You can see how the ironing board just gets pressed down automatically. And once it's complete, it lifts up and then you're able to pull the ironing board out. So here's what this part of the project turned out like. And now I'm going to be adding some black heat transfer vinyl to this project as well. I'm changing the temperature. I need to go down to 320 for heat transfer vinyl and only 35 seconds. 
make sure when you're using sublimation and something else so you're going to be pressing the sublimation print one more time that you leave the parchment paper in between and even maybe put some parchment paper on top so you don't get any ink on your machine the HTV vinyl is now complete and stuck on my project. Once it cools, I'll peel off the plastic and then just put a pillow insert inside this one. And I got to tell you, I love it. I really hope you enjoyed my two Christmas pillow projects. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Don't forget to click down in my description box and check out all the wonderful Black Friday deals at HTV Ront, including the auto heat press. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.